Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered what makes great business website? What Jeff Bezos, the founder and CEO of Amazon and a great website have in common? What can we learn from Jeff Bezos and great business website? Let's start. Daniel here from Transform DJ, your go-to guy for digital transformation and all of your projects. Let's start. And uh, when we are working our projects with our clients about their digital transformation journey, one of the first start is the website. So in order to be digitally transformed, one of the first step is your website. So maybe you're asking yourself, what, what's the point, Daniel, here? What do you want to say? How, how come Jeff Bezos can be connected to my uh, great business website? So please, let me tell you, tell you one interesting story. It's about the first ever Amazon Kindle. It was in 2007, so uh, more than 10 years ago, almost 15, 15 now. So what, what happened then? So Jeff Bezos was, for those who don't know, he's now the richest uh, man in the world. He's the founder, CEO of Amazon.com. And he started selling books. And Amazon Kindle was the first, one of the first popular e-readers where you can read the, the books. So when they were designing uh, the Amazon Kindle, what was happening? So the engineers uh, have created that one. There was a lot of buttons, uh, buttons in the, in the at the bottom. So there wasn't a touch screen with all the letters. So basically you had like the old uh, Nokia phones, those who had them knew what I'm talking about. And they didn't, uh, the, the designers and the engineers focused on how big it should be, should be six inches, should be seven inches. What about the bezels, what color it should be, what the, what the feature should be inside, what should be the technology. And uh, Jeff Bezos wasn't thinking about that. Of course, he was thinking about that too. However, that was secondary on his thought. What I'm talking about. When at that time, in order to read a book, there were other e-readers. What you had to do? You had to find a Wi-Fi in order to go to the internet, to download the books, that the book that you want to read, to find it and to read it. So we're talking about 2007. At that time, there wasn't Wi-Fi everywhere. You didn't have access to a high-speed internet for you to be able to download, download a book and to read it. So it was kind of pain in the ass. So the, uh, Jeff Bezos said to, to the engineers, want this, uh, this to be solved. Please find a way because not everyone can afford and can find a Wi-Fi. And the engineer said, well, we can uh, enter a SIM card inside and there will be a 3G, 3G internet and they could go on the internet and just find the book, download it and read it. And Jeff Bezos wasn't again, again satisfied. Why? He said, well, uh, well let's think about the, the customers. And this is his famous saying, he wants to eat customer's complexity. Uh, please remember this, eating customer's complexity. He said, well, if you had to buy one SIM, you have already one for your phone. You're already paying one uh, amount every, every month as a utility. Now you need to buy a second one to go register it, to pay it every month, to pay for the internet. It's really hassle. It's so complex. So when you will have to do uh, something or to read the book, you, you have too much hassle. The, the complexity is on your side. So it's, uh, when you are talking about your customers, there are only two things. There will always be a complex, if, especially if you're offering some kind of service. So one of you will have to eat that complexity. Either it will be you or your client. So Jeff Bezos says, okay, this is not good. Let's find another way. So the engineer said, well, it's not possible. How in 2007, the, the broadband internet is not that, that popular. Let, let's put them in the SIM card inside. So he again he wasn't he wasn't satisfied and guess what happened? The manufacturer they invented so-called uh, whisper whispernet system which was a 3G internet 
built into the Amazon Kindle. So when you manufacture it, they built that cap capacity or capability is instead of having a SIM card. And when the Amazon Kindle goes out of the factory, it has internet all the time, even without the clients knowing. How, how, how great is that? How great is that? So you get an internet for life, reading books. If anyone has Amazon Kindle or has had back then, I'm sure they don't know they had the internet built in. Whenever they want to read a book, Back then, there were about 200,000 uh, titles available on Amazon.com. You just go, open the Amazon Kindle, the first reader, you search, find the book, you click down, and boom, and you read it anywhere, all over the world. No matter if you're traveling, no matter if you're in the United States or abroad, you can read it. So he has eaten the customer complexity, and that's why the Amazon Kindle was as a... Complete, complete success. People were crazy about it. The sales were all over and we now we have second, third, five, six, six edition. They, they kept improving. They kept improving. So similar to this, he ate uh, customer complexity when he invented the one click, one click order. You do not, do not have to fill in everything inside. So, uh, that is how Jeff Bezos is thinking. What we, as business owners, as owner of our business website, should think. Well, we have created a website for two, a lot of clients of us, a lot of clients of ours. We have created a great website. And in our experience, what's, what are the clients focusing on? This is really interesting. They're focusing about the logo, should be on the left, should be on the right. What about the color? Should be less blue or more blue? What about the theme or, or the images? This title to be here, this title to be there. So they're thinking from their perspective. And we have cases when we have worked with some, some clients, especially in, in Dubai, in the region, when you, you have a plumber or a handyman and you cannot find the phone where to reach them. You need to scroll back, back, low, 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 low in the, in the footer menu to find the contacts. And, and why do you need a plumber? Why do you go on a handyman? Handyman website. You open, if you have a problem, you see, can they fix the problem? And you want to contact them. And there is no way to find the, you need to search. Of course, of course, he won't buy your services. Why he should? Why he should? Why he should? So another, another case uh, we had when they will, uh, our, the business owners will talk all about them on the website, all about them and nothing about the client. The client needs to know what kind of problem you're solving, why they should contact you, why they should work with you. That, that's the point here, that's the point. And another, another mistake that we see that uh, the business owners, they talk a lot of technical jargon and complicated professional language. And when the ordinary client, the potential client, will go to the website, they won't understand anything because there is a lot of technical technical uh, knowledge in there. Why shouldn't you, why should you talk about something that the customer is not understanding? Try speaking in the plain language. Uh, speak about what kind of problems you're solving, how they can reach you, how you can help him, uh, help them. Talk about case studies where you have helped others, uh, show testimonials. That's what are the clients interested in. Another, another interesting aspect it's about the, the stock images. <laughs> we see a lot of professional stock images and when the clients are coming to the website, they know it's kind of fake. It's not, and they're asking themselves, are there real people there behind the website? Is it a real business? Who is leading that business? Can we talk with them? Can we trust them? You know, that, that kind of things happen. So I know sometimes it's difficult to show your your face on your website, so maybe something from 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 far can can work as well, uh, or some something when you're working on the field and when you're delivering, the people want to hear hear your story. So the the point here, the bottom line is that your website should uh, solve your customer complexity. Think like Jeff Bezos. Don't take too much attention about 
what kind of color, what's the font of the text, should it be on the left, should it be on the right, and they will say, okay, Daniel, uh, the website is great, but let's put this below, little bit below, or little bit on the left, why do you have another team? Well, this, this block should be a little bit on the right, there is too much space in between, and they're focused on the wrong thing. The customers do not care about it. If they need to contact you to solve their problem, boom, give them the phone on the front page right away. Your picture, I'm helping for that, 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 and the phone. If you want to contact me, that is it. We had clients in the restaurant business, they had the phone for reservation at the bottom, but not about ordering online. They had a great uh, campaign, let's order online, and if you go to a website, you don't, you cannot find the phone for ordering online or asking some question. You have only a phone for, for reservation, and it's complex for you. You want to order, you want to ask something, you have a phone where it's written phone for reservation. So we say, I want to ask about the online order, I want this business, it's digitally transformed. Now I can use the internet and order services from them. From them, I can order food from them. But this phone is phone for reservation. I do not want to sit there. Where is the phone for consultation? Where is the phone? Uh, where is the phone for ordering food? What, can I talk to the chef? Where is the email I want to write? Where is the contact form? So th that, that, is, that is my point. So what we should think about our business website, because the first step in digital transformation, the first step which is visible, of course, there is a lot of in the behind, it's almost always the company website, the company website. So think about this story about Jeff Bezos, why he was so successful, why the Amazon Kindle was so successful, because he ate customer complexity. I bet. 95, 98, 99% of the customers of the Amazon Kindle didn't know that they had internet inside. They knew that if I open the Amazon Kindle, I can read a book. That's the same for the business website. The clients do not care how you have developed the website in the background. They want a fast load, clear, clear design, everything to be on point and to get the information right away. What they want they that to get so that that was my uh, my main point thank you thank you for watching if you have any questions uh write them in the comments i'm reading them all of them by myself click the like button it's important from the youtube algorithm subscribe there will be a lot of lot of uh videos like that this is a big project we have working a lot in the background and now we have decided to share all about the digital transformation Thank you guys and have a great day and see you in the next video. Bye.